in this video, I'll walk you through how to edit a page in Squarespace. So I'm here in the Clove template. I'll drop a link to it below if you want to start with this template. And we're going to take a look at the pages. So right now we just have demo pages, which means that it is all just templated images, text, buttons, and we can swap that out with our own information. So let's, for example, take a look at the home page. So when I'm ready to edit, I go to the top left of the page and click edit. And now I can make changes. So if I wanted to change the background image for this section, I could do that by clicking the edit section button, going to background, deleting the image that's there and searching for a new image. So let's say outdoor coffee. I'm looking for um, something that is a landscape orientation photo because it needs to be wide to go across the screen. So those typically work better for backgrounds than um, portrait orientation photos. So we've changed our photo here. Next is if I want to update the text, I just click on what I want to um, edit and you can double click it, it'll highlight the entire group, click delete, and then you can start by saying my coffee date. And it wasn't what you'd expect. And so you simply just type over. Now what if we want this to be in a different place in this section? So right now it's kind of in the bottom left. Again, we'll just click the edit section button. We'll go to the content alignment and we can align it top to bottom in the center. We could put it right on the top. We can move it to the center and then we can change the content width. So if these were longer, you can see that uh, it would wrap the text starting here at the end of the blue box. But if I made it medium, we would have even more room for the words to go across before they start wrapping. So let's leave it like here. like. Let's leave it like it is here and go on to the next section. So for this section as well, we can just simply type over what you want to know. And again, type here to change a button link. You would double click on the button. You can change what the button says by replacing the text. So we could say click here and then the click through URL right now goes to the about page. If we wanted to change that, we could click the cog icon and delete the about page. And then right now all the other pages are demo, so it won't let me link to them. But if we had other pages that we'd created or edited here, they would show up in the page menu. And then I could just click on one of those to link it up. This would be weird because it would be linking to the home page. We don't want that. So let's just make a mental note to come back and change that. So save and apply. Now, if you wanted to change the size of the button, you could absolutely do that. You have three choices, small, medium, and large. I like the medium and you could also change the alignment of the button. You can make it left align within the content area or center and click apply. Um, here we have an image block. So if I wanted to change the style of the image block, I could make it a poster with the words over the image. I could make it a collage with um, this little background area here. I could make it a stack with the information underneath an inline image where there's no text, just an image. Let's go back to card. And if you wanted to update the image here, you would just click the image editor, delete this, search for an image, and then let's we'll put date and select this, add to site. And then you can edit the text here just by clicking on it. So surprise, we met for coffee. Play. And you can do that. These This template is really just text, images, and buttons. Simple, easy to update. Again, just text. If you wanted to change the size of the text and the styling, you could do that by highlighting it or just clicking somewhere within that paragraph and changing it. So I can make this heading four, heading three, heading two, heading one. Typically on each page, we want it to read almost like an outline. So we would want this to be heading one because it is the most important 
thing on the page. We usually start with a title and then go from there. So heading, this would be a heading two. And for the main words on the page, we want paragraph one. We can go with paragraph one again, or if we want it to be smaller text, if it's less important, we can go with paragraph two. Um, you typically paragraph three, I reserve for the footer and where the legal documents are. So that text can be smaller. It's not as important. And that is how you get started with editing the elements on the page. Now, what if you wanted to add a new section? So these are all sections. Let's add a new section in between here. So depending on what you would like to do, you can add a pre-made section and just edit some things about it. So let's look at these. We could add a list, a gallery. We could add some images on their own that aren't in a gallery, quotes, text, videos. We could add an appointment block. We could add a contact form. So for example, if I wanted to stick a contact form right in the middle of the homepage, I could do that. It looks kind of weird now because I've got these white backgrounds all together, so it all runs together. So what you can do is you can change the background color of this section by clicking on the pencil icon, going to colors, and choosing a new background color. If you want to update these colors, I do have a video showing you how to do that. I'll add the link below. Another handy feature is that if you have a section and you want to reuse that style again, you can simply duplicate the section and then move it up or down on your own and edit it there. So now I have a duplicated section. I've moved it down so it's below here. And this could be um, what else you want to know. And this could link to you another page of your website. So that's how to get started editing pages in Squarespace. If you have any questions, drop them below. Thanks so much for watching.